All right, looks like we got to open for next caller. Sorry about that little delay. Looks like Facebook's blowing up a little bit. I'm going to have to shut you down. Hey, if you're trying to catch me on Facebook, uh, and you're sending me repeated messages. I've got 40 people that are sending me messages right now. Uh, comments are down on Facebook for the next little bit. So uh, it seems to be interfering with the uh, activity on this control panel. Um, still pushing for our next question. There we go. 2933, speak your mind. Uh, hey, uh, this is Ed. I'm in uh, Southeast Texas. I uh, just wanted to give you some information. I'm not sure if it's useful, but uh, I live near the uh, the railroad tracks here, and this morning we had an unusual event with um, well, it seemed to be at least 100 M113s uh, on the rails uh, moving westbound. Interesting. Sorry, what state or what group did you represent, brother? Uh, I am a civilian. I do not represent a group. That's fine. No, we appreciate that. Uh, you know, we're all just trying to chime in here. Um, what state were you in again? I apologize. I'm in Texas, Beaumont, Texas. Fair enough. And then, uh, and you saw that with your own two eyes, bro? I did, and I even uh, grabbed photographs. Excellent. Um, I'm going to go ahead and let you chime in open ground. Uh, do you do the Facebook thing by chance? Um, I do. Go ahead and uh, post those up and do Twitter by chance. We've got a guy that's been trying to use uh, a, a Twitter tag uh, to keep things like this on the same page. Yeah, I do Twitter as well. All right, can you put them there as well? Uh, it's uh, pound sign and then the words oath before orders all together. Can you repeat the what hashtag? Uh, oath, like your oath. You take your oath to uh, uphold and defend the Constitution of the United States of America. Yes. Uh, and then the okay. word before, then the opposite of after. Okay. And then the All word right, orders, and then the word orders. So it's oath before orders is the Understood. hashtag that they All right, man. Anything else, if you would? Uh, no, that was it. Uh, may the force be with you. I appreciate you calling in. Man. All right, thank you. Yes, sir. All right, wow, we, we peaked out yesterday at like, what was it, 120-some-odd. Uh, and then today we peaked up to 400. Sorry, I had to refresh, and uh, looks like we're all good now. I'm going to move on to the next caller. Thanks for hanging on, man. <clears throat> you still there, though, by the way? I know you can hear me. I didn't unmute you, bro. All right, next question. Hey, caller 2767, what do you need to say, buddy? How's it going? This is a patriot from the Seattle area in Washington. Hey, we need some more responses for you guys up northwest. Oh, well, there's a bunch of us up here, believe me. How's it going in Fogville? Good, good, good. Actually, it's been beautiful and sunny. Uh, I'm also a uh, veteran of foreign wars. And I, I, learned, I learned, thank you, I learned something interesting lately that I wanted to share with everybody now that we're on this call, and that is that a lot of the Army PSYOPs people that uh, used to be prepared for operations overseas have since retrained for operations on the homeland. Now, I don't understand why you'd need that type of force trained to operate within the borders. It's uh, kind of scary to me, and I think it's ridiculous. But I want everybody to be aware of that. Um, secondly, when you guys were talking about them posting, posting listening devices, I don't know what they look like. I hadn't heard anything before now. But be prepared. It could not only be just listening devices, but it could also be um, some high-powered speakers that they could use for psychological operations, one of which is to play very loud sounds, which have been proven to be very debilitating to human beings, um, basically to drive you away or to basically debilitate you to the point you can't really react properly. Is this so, the brown sound that you speak of, the infamous brown sound? Yeah, there's, there's several different methods that can be used now um, that have been under research for years. I don't know a lot about it. Well, it's, it just, sounds like looking hell. If I ever have to come to terms with facing the brown sound, I'll just bite my own tongue off and end it. That sounds horrible. Way to go. Yeah, um, 
pretty bad stuff. The least you guys could do is be prepared with uh, multiple layers of hearing protection, the in-ears and the outer ear protection, just in case. But I, I know a lot of that stuff, if they end up using it, that will be pretty useless to that. But it doesn't hurt to be prepared with what you can. 10-4, I really appreciate you. You know, that did not come up if you're heading out still. Uh, definitely consider when things become a volatile situation. I, I figure even at this point, you know, be smart. You know, if you have an extra fire extinguisher, grab it. Um, you know, anything to cover yourself, uh, if there were tear gas being used, uh, you know, all those preparations need to be considered. You're, you're 100% correct, sir. Uh, anything else you wanted to chime in with? No, just be safe. Try to keep it civil. Make you know, let them make an ass out of themselves. That's all I've got to say. You think I'm doing a decent job so far, man? I kind of volunteered to do this. I'm putting a lot of time and effort, and just absolutely. Just Thanks for what you're doing. I appreciate that, man. Sometimes you know, you, you, you just you gotta kind of go with the flow. I appreciate you. I'm gonna move on to the next guy, unless you got something else, brother. No, that's all I have. Thank you. May the force be with you. Uh, next caller, A Combs. What's up? What's up, dude? Uh, did you get that guy's email? Write down. I did. Hang on. Buffalo. Negative. Did you get hit? Did, did you say uh, that? How are we going to get back on? Because uh, I'm trying to get in contact with Colorado 2 and 3. Uh, ten four eight Colorado two and three. Uh, if you already hadn't chimed in, uh, go ahead and put yourself in the queue to talk. When I get to Coms three, uh, remind me to get their information from you guys to give over to Coms one. I need you guys because to because I, uh, I also spotted a couple of drones uh, about thirty minutes ago, and I was using my telescope, so I don't know they were head westbound as well. But uh, like the attorney said earlier that. There was birds heading toward Texas, but I don't know why they'd be going there unless they were doing a uh, non-direct route over there. But I don't know about right, I'm, I'm, a, I'm about to just text you. All right. I got a phone number for you. Just call them direct. You got it? What? Um, what I'm about to give you over to Coms 3 is actually uh, going to be getting a text right now from him. Okay. Uh, I'm going to move on. You got anything else to report? Yeah, right. Send an email, get this email to that uh, Buffalo. Yeah, right now uh, you're going to be getting that aerial coordinator uh, that was speaking of just about what you were speaking about. Um, let me know you got the text message. Let me know what I got the text message. Correct. All good? Yeah, got it. All right, cool. Uh, I'm going to let you chime in. I, I'm going to be watching for your number, so... Uh, Call back in after you get a hold of him and let me know if you guys got anything you can do together. We're also still trying to uh, catch up with the uh, Gadsden Air Corps. If you can find Gadsden Air Corps, that's uh, priority one right now. All uh, right. Uh, I've got another anonymous caller. Go ahead. You got five seconds, buddy. Speak your piece. I'm not sure if that's me or not. I heard something over the phone. I apologize. You came in anonymous, ma'am. Go right ahead. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't know I was anonymous. I didn't mean to be. I've, this is Michelle from, uh, I'm one of the admins from uh, Washington Revolution. Hi, and I, I have a couple, Okay, you too. Um, I have a couple questions. Do you guys have any idea how many people are there at the ranch of Patriots? Uh, I got a lot of people and, asking uh, me. Yeah, if you want to go ahead and backtrack on, the, on some information, um, I'm going to go ahead and you're going to be able to go to the uh, playback number. Did you get that? Um, no, I didn't. Uh, it's 559-726. Uh, okay, 559-726. Five, five, yeah, the, the same first six numbers that you used to get into this call, but the last four digits are 1399, not 1300 like you're on. And uh, in order to hit that, conversation that we're recording right now, it's uh, pound 9762, and then pound it again. 
and that'll let you hear the uh, good portion of this phone call. And then uh, while you're listening to that call, keep a pen handy because uh, I give out the key code before that uh, when we recorded the conversation prior. And then in that conversation, the key code for the conversation prior is in there as well. Um, I'm going to move on unless you have anything else you can do to get some more patriots and uh, good people in um, there. That'd be great. I, I'm just trying. I'm a cancer patient. I can't do anything. I'm just trying to spread the word. But um, also, yep. do you do you know how many feds are in the area? Uh, we've heard 200. Is there more there now, or do you know? Uh, that seems to be a consensus uh, in that in that realm, 100 to 200. But uh, you know, again, we're trying to get actual confirmation from boots on the ground that are going to be hopefully chiming in here in the near future. I'm trying to watch okay. for certain area codes right now, so I'm going to move on to uh, another people in that vicinity. Is that okay with you? Uh, yeah. Could you please text me in private? I need to give you a heads up. Don't want to do it on here. And would you please ask all the patriots that are heading to the ranch to abide by Cliven's rules? They've That's been exactly posted what on, we're trying to shoot for. Yeah, they they've been posted protest, all over the man. internet. Yeah, but I know there's so many hotheads, man. Yeah, I know, and that's what we're trying to quell right now. With our people heading that way, uh, we're trying to resort them to go over to the local uh, Native American reservation as a yeah, rally yeah, point yeah. at this moment. Um, yeah, that's and, uh, so I would that's you. awesome. I, I would text you. I wouldn't be giving that number online right now, ma'am, but uh, you did come in anonymous, so uh, I, I don't really have capability to do that from where I'm sitting right now. Um, as far as texting me, uh, I'd recommend you know following procedure. We're having some people add me on Facebook or uh, – Listen to the last call to get an answer to that question. Okay, Is that okay? Where, where are you at on Facebook? I'll, I'll go ahead and friend you. Uh, Brian with a Y, and then uh, if you type in the words free the people, uh, I should be the one that pops. There's a real serious Polish last name at the end of that, but uh, I, as of right now, I've re reached uh, maximum capacity in the last couple hours as far as new friends, so I'm going to be okay. deleting some old friends and adding some new ones in the near future. Okay, okay well... Okay, maybe I'll wait till morning. Okay, thank you, sir. You're doing an awesome job, man. Everybody be safe and be calm, be smart. Yeah, bear with me, guys. I'll get to you. I appreciate you, man. Take care. Next caller is 6831. And you just hung up. All right, moving on. 9504, you're on. You got five seconds to respond. Four, three. I'm going to get that to you one more time. Last four digits, 9504. Did you fall asleep? And moving on. Wireless caller, 9832. Chime in. Yeah, um, I live in the, my name is Peter. I live in the uh, South Bay Harbor area, California. This is a request. Yep. This is a request for anyone who's listening in my area. I'd like to come out and help as a protester. I have a security and first aid background. used to be a volunteer firefighter up in the Bay Area. Um, I'd really like to come and help. I'm without a car, without a job, and but uh, you know I could I could be boots on the ground. I could help. I could do something. Um, you know I could leave my number if it's okay for anyone who wants to call me who's in my area. Uh, I could leave it on the air. I don't mind. Um, it's uh, 925-765-9832. My name is Peter. Anyone who's in the harbor area of South Los Angeles that's going to Nevada for to the Bundy Ranch, uh, call me and let me know if you can come and pick me up. I'll be ready. Just, uh, uh, copy that. Hello. Hey, uh, sorry about that, man. I just got kicked off the car. Are you still there, bro? Well, I was calling. I apologize. I just got kicked off the call. Are you still there? Uh, sorry about that, man. Uh, I'm going to move on to the next question. Uh, Conway, you're on.
Area code one five. I'm sorry, last four digits one five two one. <clears throat> you want to go ahead and chime in? I, I, sorry, I had you muted. Um, yeah, I was just uh, earlier. I I can't remember where she was from, but she chimed in and uh, she brought up the DHS again and the MRAPs and the Humvees. Has that been confirmed yet, or is that just still <clears throat> kind of a speculation? Uh, we're, we're, it's more of a speculation, and thanks for. Uh, Thanks for making sure that you didn't take it to heart. Yeah, we, we, we can't verify, you know, that 100%. Uh, we've had a couple people that are just going on conjecture based on what they're seeing online right now, and that's what we're trying to kind of get down to is uh, the bottom of things. Uh, <clears throat> I would say it's not that high of a volatile situation as, as it may be presumed, although there is potential for that. There are uh, members of various groups heading out that way, uh, just, you know, trying to show uh, some support. But uh, everybody's recommending to come in. Uh, if you're coming in at all and you have to go in and you're just, Nobody can turn you back around. You know, you're your own man or woman, and uh, you know we just come in as a peaceful protester. If you happen to be armed, you know, to defend yourself in any situation, keep that stuff broken down uh, by the rules and guidelines of the uh, state that you'll be passing through to get there, as well as the state when you get there. And uh, we're trying to set people to a rally point. There's a uh, nearby <coughs> uh, tribal reservation um, that apparently may have offered some uh, refuge. Uh, there's a number of a tribal. There's a number of the tribal office that will be open tomorrow morning. The number is 702-865-2790. Feel free to pass that around. It's, uh, they are federally protected. And, uh, you know, if, if it comes down to it, that would be a, a smart place to uh, to go as long as they can show respect to the tribe. Anything else I can help you with, Matt? Um, yeah, what about the what the caller talking about the M113s on the train? Is that just speculation also? or? Uh, Again, he's trying to send some pictures. Uh, he's going to be putting them up. Uh, if you want to go ahead and try to get your eyes on that, uh, I'm, my computer is way too busy right now for me to even try to go there. But uh, if, if anybody does the Twitter thing, they must have gone up recently at uh, Oath Before Orders, hashtag Oath Before Orders. Um, so apparently he's got some footage, but even that. Okay, and I, it's, I wanna, you can only put them on I Twitter. I want to touch everybody. On any other side. I'm sorry? He's only putting them on Twitter. He's, they're not on Facebook or anything. Uh, not that I'm aware of, man. Again, I'm on kind of a lockdown situation with this control panel on this conference call. Okay, buddy. Uh, anything else I can help you with, man? Nope, that's it. Thanks, man. Uh, yeah, feel free to uh, spread the word and chime in again if you need to. Okay, bud. All right, thanks. All right, next caller, uh, Nick, 9620. What's up, buddy? Uh, actually, my name is Shelly. It's his, and uh, oh, calling from Washington that, State. Please. Oh no, it's it's okay. I just realized it's under his phone bill's under that name. Okay, civilian so calling from Washington State. I'm going to make it short and sweet. I just want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. And you are doing an amazing job moderating this. You have been so patient with all of the callers, with the people. This, you guys are doing an amazing job, and I thank you, and the people thank you. And the other guy wow. in Seattle, just at my state up here is paying attention, and we have a guy from Eastern Washington, a representative, on his way to send his support, and I am just so proud to be an American at this moment. And this past week has brought a, a, a faith back into me that I have lost years ago, it, that's it. Thank you so much. And I'm sorry for being emotional. It's an emotional thing. And I'm a girl. No. So. <laughs> yeah, you know, I've, I've got six sisters and out of respect. I've learned to appreciate women for what they have to say. You know, well, I think what we need is more females out there kind of cooling out these hotheads. You know, back in the day when they had flower power, this would have turned into Woodstock overnight. But uh, instead, it's coming to militia stock or something like that. And we're just trying to avoid. You know, any sort yeah, of peace uh, and love. Peace and love. That's the only way that it'll even work. Peace and love, and that's what you guys are there for. Is for the love of your people, and your country, and your fellow man, and for me, and for the people that don't even give a crap about what's going on around them. You guys are fighting for them. Wow. Well, we need a Thank lot more you. prayers and, and 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 good people with good hearts like you out there. You know. Uh, you know, if you've got any prayer warriors out there that can, you know, try to send some good vibes to that exact location, uh, you know, I'm sure uh, many people will benefit from that. We, we need some, some light out there. And if there are more females, we need a lot more female energy because there's a lot of testosterone uh, headed out this direction. So uh, I appreciate your, your heartfelt words, man. It means a lot to all of us, and a lot of us feel exactly the same way. So 
I can't blame you for carrying your heart on your sleeve in this day and age right now. That's all we got left is our name and our word. Absolutely. You take care, guys. Thank you, dear. I'm going to move on to the next caller. Uh, wireless caller in 5915. Hey. What's up, buddy? Uh, disabled vet, veteran of foreign wars. Um, I traveled to 13 states for my job. Uh, <clears throat> I have some credible sources or some information. Uh, one of them is information about Colorado. There's 190,000 U.N. troops there. Yes, sir. They're training. They're training. Uh, our, yeah, we've, we've been, uh, many people have been aware that, you know, uh, a lot of U.N. troops have been in our country and they are. I work, have worked directly with some of them. A lot of guys don't feel so great about it, but, uh, you know, they're property and they're just taking orders like everybody else. Um, nobody yeah. likes uh, that, that our government would allow something like that to happen, man, but, uh, you know, it, it seems yeah, to be part of some of sort of peacekeeping, peacekeeping mission. Anyway. Oh, yeah. I, I, I'm just as uncomfortable as many other uh, Here's a citizens. Here's and you're, doing a, you're doing a hell of a job with this. Uh, well, that's cool, man. Uh, I I appreciate you, man. You know, hopefully, when it all goes down, some people remember what the hell I was trying to do. Um, you know, I, again, we we do that. And I really do appreciate it because, well, my family's been military all the way back to the 1700s, so we've done our part for this country, and I'm glad to see somebody else capping up. All right. Well, you, you, whatever power that you do have, go ahead. I've seen convoys of troops moving to places probably shouldn't see them. Trains full of equipment going in directions they probably shouldn't be going in. Yeah. Try not to say too much on here because, well, I don't know who's listening, but... They're listening, man. Oh, I'm sure they are. I'm <laughs> anyway, uh, as far as the hotheads, they need to stay cool. This is exactly what they want. They want a hothead to trip this off. And that's exactly what we're trying to avoid, man. We appreciate you chiming in. Uh, if you if you do any praying, we need some of that right now. You know, spread the word. Got a little of that going on too, brother. Got a little of that going on too. Mm. Got my yeah, brother and, uh, in you know, South Carolina. The rest of my family in Tennessee. All militia, all helping. Ten four, good buddy. Well, I appreciate you chiming in, man. If you want to find me, you stay in comms with me, man. Uh, we, we need some people in your area as well chiming in, letting us know what's going on out there. I'm going to uh, be leaving this, leaving this room open as, as often as possible at this point uh, until further notice, so don't lose these numbers, all right? All right, buddy. I'm in southeast Oklahoma. All uh, right. Well, Oklahoma, man. Uh, hold on. Let me look at my list. All right. You're in Oklahoma 4 now, man. Um, you feel, the, feel free to chime in and let me know. You know, go ahead when you call back or... Chime in again. Just say it's Oklahoma 4. This is what I'm reporting right now, okay? All right, bud. Appreciate it. I pre I appreciate it. All right, you bet. All right, moving on to the next caller. Uh, that was for another day. Wireless caller, 7548. Speak your piece, brother. Hey, Brian. This is uh, Sig here. Can you hear me? How you doing? Yeah, I can hear you just fine. Go ahead. Everybody else can hear you too, bro. Awesome. Okay. Well, number one, I'm on your Facebook page. Number two, thanks for doing a good job tonight. I want to cut through the chase and go over some uh, intel, some stuff that you've been hearing that might be bad or good here. Your original caller from uh, Whitman Air Base there saying about all those flights leaving. Number one, unless you're expecting to be attacked by B-52 bombers or uh, B-2 bombers, that's not going to happen. Um, then talking with your gentleman at Fort Irwin, California, he is correct, the warrant officer. There is 11 rotations there each year. You are in the flight path, so you could probably see some helicopters flying around, but don't be worried about that. Um, for the Federal Army to go ahead and do anything in this situation is just totally unlikely. Now, what BLM does, yeah, you've already seen that, um, how stupid they're getting. Okay, on your other caller that was talking about the 100 M1113 coming out of Texas or coming out of Beaumont. Yes, sir. That's port, and they're probably coming in from Afghanistan and uh, Iraq. They're probably going to be shipped up there to uh, Texarkana at the Redstone Arsenal where they fix and repair them. So that's nothing to be worried about. The next issue... <laughs> The next issue, the DHS MRAPs, they do have a couple of them down in 
Southern California. If you do actually see any Humvees with 50 cows, I'm going to ask that you take, get pictures of them, get pictures of the front bumper numbers, and if you could post them on your Facebook page, I will see if I can read the bumper numbers and find out what units they are from because, number one, DHS should not have any 50 cows at all. Okay? If they do that, then that's a gross uh, overstepping of their boundaries. You know, the MRATs, that's one thing. We might not like it. They've got them. But if they're trying to bring 50 cows against the uh, people, then we do need to know that. Now, they can go ahead and borrow the Humvees from either the National Guard or the Army. As you know, BO went ahead and did sign an executive order stating that um, any federal agency could borrow military equipment. So if we do see these Humvees with 50 cals, 10 to 1, that's what's happening. Um, next yeah. thing, do you actually need the Gadsden Air Corps telephone number? Because I do have it. Uh, yes, please, absolutely. Thank you very much for doing that. Hang on one second, uh, Air Comms. Air Comms, uh, Comms 1 and Okay, if anybody's prepared to copy the number, and I can leave it also on your Facebook page. I am Facebook friends with you. So the number is 801-214-8203. Stand by. Okay. Can verify 801-214-8203. Eight two zero three. Oh, eight two zero three. Check. I had eighteen things. Tough. Cool. I appreciate that. Uh, comms one and air comms. Uh, you guys need to get in touch with them ASAP. And you know why? Uh, I appreciate that. So I'm going to move on to the next caller unless you got something else. Yeah, I got about three more points there for you. Um, let's talk about National Guard units out of state. National Guard units out of state cannot go to the aid of the governor unless the Nevada state governor requests it. So you don't have to worry about any kind of mobilization from any other state. The only National Guard troops that could be used to help enforce either BLM's position or your position, depending, depending on the way the governor leans, is only from uh, the state of Nevada. Now, the fact that you're using a uh, Indian hey, Reserve... Uh, I don't mean to interrupt you, sir. If you could do me just a small favor to help out. So if you could back away from the phone a little bit or maybe lower the tonation of your voice, it's coming in kind of uh, very uh, very rough, uh, blowing the speaker a little bit, if you don't mind. Okay, no problem there. Is this a little bit better for you? A lot better. Thank you so much. No problem. If I'm talking about the Indian Reservation. You're going to have personnel staying there bivouacking. BIA, which is the Bureau, um, Bureau of Indian Affairs, they can come on the reservation and they can cause you problems. Don't know if they will, but Wounded Knee in 1972 in the Dakotas, they did that. Uh, they went after some Indians because they had illegal guns, okay? And my last piece there on your last caller, who's talking about 190,000 foreign troops in uh, Colorado, that's a fable. There's no way that you're going to get 190,000 foreign troops there. Fort, uh, Fort Hood, Texas is one of the largest bases and it has 50,000 soldiers on it. 50,000 soldiers, you're almost bumping into somebody day in, day out. All my contacts at uh, uh, Fort Carson in Colorado, there's no foreign troops on there. So just let all the uh, patriots know that that's a bogus story. Yes, there is probably one to 2,000 foreign soldiers training with the U.S. Army each day at different bases, but there are not many great strength or anything else to do us any harm. That's all I got. I really appreciate you giving that intel, man. Um, you sound like a good guy. You keep in touch with me, and uh, if you've got any other details coming up as well, I appreciate your, your injection right there, okay? No problem. I'll uh, post some of this information to your page. Well, we've been trying to read here. You can... Hello? Still there, but yeah, yeah. I was just uh, curious how long we've been for, I was on Facebook. Oh, you and I have been Facebook friends for a while. Awesome. All right. 
And thanks for watching me, man, and thanks for hanging out. Okay, no problem. Take care. Good night. Take care, bro. Uh, Castro, you're on. Hey, Castro, you've been unmuted, man. Go ahead. Did you have anything to say? <clears throat> all right, yeah. Hello? Yeah, yeah, that's all you, brother. All right, yes. Yeah, so I'm uh, Lieutenant Castro from uh, Alamo Militia here in uh, San Antonio, Texas. Uh, we are part of the 28th State Militia. Uh, <clears throat> we, we were recently uh, notified to put ourselves on the Code Orange. Uh, pretty much uh, um, but as uh, I just wanted to ask, uh, how long is uh, this conversation planning to take place? Uh, as, as long as time allows, as long as there's many people on board that are, you know want to chime in, then uh, I'll stay up as late as I can. I grabbed a couple extra Mountain Dews, the official sponsor of this phone call. <laughs> and, uh, um, I'm just going to stay up as long as I can, man. Uh, uh, you know, I appreciate you chiming in as well. If you've got any, uh, you know, any other active duties or any other, you know, veterans that are still in touch with active duties, man, have them reach out and, you know, have them get in touch with people and, you know, try to get those people possibly even on this call or at least get somebody to verify that, you know, everybody wants to stand down. It sounds like the only uh, illegal order is actually becoming foreign and more foreign as, as time goes by, and, and that's becoming really awkward. I, I cannot fully... Uh, confirm that necessarily, but uh, a lot of things are pointing in that direction right now. Right, okay. So, uh, are you going to be, uh, is this phone conversation going to be on tomorrow? Uh, most yeah, most likely. Uh, I'll, I'll do what I can. I'm going to have to actually uh, coordinate uh, another person to actually sponsor tomorrow's phone call for a portion of the time, but we've been starting at 8 Central, uh, actually just prior to 8 Central, and then it gets a little crazy. Uh, we had a peak of uh, 400 on here earlier. Uh, yesterday was only 130-ish, but uh, definitely the word's getting out, man. And uh, a lot of yeah, a lot of good people sure trying is. to chime in. Anything else you wanna you wanna add on? So I think I got about 40 people in the queue right now. All right, no, that's about it. No info going on down here though. I appreciate you, bro. Stay in touch, and uh, you know, feel free to add me as a pal. Um, like I said, all the people that added me today and yesterday, uh, I'll get to you. I, I just got to delete a lot of people that haven't been in touch with me, and then. Uh, you know, add a lot of new friends. So uh, hopefully that's one way to stay in touch. If uh, the Facebook side don't shut me down, you know, I know they're listening right now and I've been nothing but uh, as peaceful as humanly possible in trying to, you know, quell the situation. That's exactly why this started. Uh, it was just myself and my uh, state commander for the Illinois Sons of Liberty. And uh, we decided to open this call up and uh, it, it just spread like wildfire. And that's what we were hoping would happen. And we're trying to do something right around here, man. God bless America, huh? All right. Thank you. Good job. All right, next caller, Wireless, 1986. What can I do for you? Yeah, you're on. Go ahead, buddy. Hey, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you, man. Everybody can hear you. All right, sorry about that. Um, I just wanted to bring up a couple info. I'm not sure if anybody's seen or heard anything, but they finally did a story a report on this on Fox News. Uh, it, uh, that hey, real, real, real quick, real quick, buddy. I, I, I hate to interrupt people, but uh, if you get back away from the phone a little bit, you're coming in real loud, real strong, kind of blowing up the mic uh, or the speaker on this end. Uh, if you could just tone it back, maybe you're, you're at about out of 10. If you could take it to a 7 or 8, that'd help us out a lot so we can hear you clearly. What about now? A little bit better? Uh, a little bit less, and you should be good. You're, you're actually redlining on this uh, uh, software that I have. So, yeah, if you could just... Uh, yeah, let me let, bit. let me try let me try killing my I'm on my Bluetooth in my car so let me try killing that real quick. Yeah, that'll probably help, bro. Mark, right, can you hear me? Oh yeah, that's like ten times better, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, no worries. Anyways, I just wanted to give a quick little update. I noticed on uh, that they finally did a report on this on Fox, in case anybody hadn't seen it, on the uh, Hannity report. And uh, they, they, according to him, they mentioned that there all, are now uh, FBI in the area as well, uh, down there with the BLM. Um, so I don't know if that's going to turn into anything major or anything else. Um, also, uh, according to the Guerrilla Media Network, uh, Sheriff Gillespie will be meeting with uh, Clive and Bundy, the Bundy there, tomorrow morning about 9 a.m. And then... Uh, the I can't, I can't remember her name. The the I guess it's the wife or whatever. Bundy will be um, 
or is requesting, uh, of course, more people to come down there and help with the protest. She, again, requested that nobody bring weapons, that everybody, you know, keep it cool, calm, but ask that people try to be there by about 8 a.m., I guess, to uh, try to show some force before the sheriff gets there or whatever. So I, I appreciate the update, man. That was pretty cool. Um, I actually just got hit up on Facebook. Uh, I'm still trying to weed through all these messages. Are you familiar, sir, with uh, by the gentleman that runs by the name Chief Mark Kessler? Oh, yeah, yeah, Mark Kessler, yes, definitely. Yeah, uh, Kessler is going to chime in on this phone call, I think, in a little while. Um, he just hit me up on Facebook. I've been kind of watching over what he's been doing on the East Coast for a while now. Uh, Chief Kessler, if you're actually on the call, I need you to Facebook me direct real quick. And then uh, if you give me that proper data I just requested, I can get you on live right now. Um, I know he just chimed in, but I just can't differentiate what his phone number is compared to everybody else. Uh, did you have anything else you wanted to add, bro? Nope, that should be it. So far, that's all I've seen updated-wise. So. I appreciate you keep spreading the word, man, and uh, you know, send some good vibes this way. We're trying to quell a possibly volatile situation, man, and just uh, you know, make, make sure we're just doing the right thing here before it turns into what we don't want it to turn out, if you know nope. what I'm getting at. Yep, I definitely do, man. You take care and uh, keep up the good work. Appreciate you, man. Moving on. All right, wireless caller 9027. What can I do for you? Wireless caller 9027. Eric, uh, last four digits. You've got something to add? Five, four, three. All right. Uh, four, two, three, four. What can I do for you? Hey, uh, this is Jeff Rainforth. Um, I'm a writer for war correspondent uh, Pat Dollard and also for the Wayne Dupre show. Um, we have word from, uh, from an Iraq war vet that the FAA has declared a no-fly zone over the, over the Bundy Ranch. Just wanted to clarify that, and also, um, who do you want showing up? Do you want everyone showing up uh, out to support uh, Clyde Bundy? Uh, 